What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, Cap and Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It does not apply. That's why everyone has free, free will. Only take the medicine you resonate with. Rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, to High Priestess Channel Five donate to PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. This is a Oracle card reading for sign of Virgo for October of 2022. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, Venus, Moon, Jupiter, Chart. That's the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. I did receive a channel message as I was meditating on your energy, Virgo, for October 2022. I heard a um, married Virgo masculine. Um, your polyamorous wife is secretly cheating on you with the Aries masculine. That's all I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, how that resonates, Virgo. You're a married Virgo masculine. So legally married Virgo masculine. I heard polyamorous. Um, Usually polyamory, everybody agrees upon um, what, you know, how many partners are in the relationship, uh, whether you're married or not married. But I heard she's secretly cheating on you with the Aries masculine. So there's a reason she's secretly cheating on you with this Aries masculine and she's not telling you. Because polyamory, poly, um, polyamory and polyamorous relationships and polygamy and things like that, it's usually very open and communicative, communicative with everybody that's involved in the partnerships and relationships, whether you're married or not, heard she's secretly cheating on you with the Aries masculine. So that's for one of you guys, whoever you are, uh, Libra masculine, legally married Libra masculine. I mean, I'm sorry, not Libra masculine. I'm sorry, Virgo masculine, Virgo masculine, whoever you are. I don't know. For one, it's her ex-husband. For one, it's someone she's going to school with. For one, it's her ex-husband. And for one, it's someone she's going to school with. So you plug it in how it resonates Virgo masculine, legally married Virgo masculine. There's at least two of you guys. One of you guys, it's, it sounds like it's both Aries masculines. For one of you guys, it's her ex-husband. So her ex-husband. Um, so she's. I mean, she's been at least two marriages, just saying, uh, for situation one. For situation two, it's um, she could be in one marriage, have been married one or two or two plus times, but it's somebody she's currently going to school with. So for one of you guys, it's her ex-husband, Aries masculine ex-husband. For one, it's somebody she's currently going to school with. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo masculine, whoever you are and how that applies, okay? Spirit messages here have a sign of Virgo. Gazelle. Butterfly. For some, you could be dealing with a, um, another earth sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Minham, which are your charts. If you are Virgo. Spirit messages here. Spirit messages here. It's not Virgo. A Virgo was very, very, very heavily lied to in the past. Said a Leo feminine was not who she says she was, but you know now she is. Okay. So if this resonates for you, um, you're a Virgo. You were very heavily lied to in the past. Somebody told you that um, a Leo fem was not who she said she was. But I heard you know now she is. She is who she says she is. So um, somebody told you she wasn't who she says she was. Um, but you know now she is who she says she is. Um, whoever that applies for there, Virgo. And whoever told you um, that um, she wasn't who she says she was. Um, sounds like somebody was very heavily mind manipulating. If that resonates for you, uh, Virgo. 
It can be mass form in Virgo, I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, and whoever that is that told you that she wasn't who she says she was, obviously they were um, playing mental mind games with you because there's, you know, people don't just say things like that just for reason. Uh, they say it for strategic reasons, is what I'm saying. They don't just say things like that for no reason. They say it for strategic reasons. Um, if that resonates, it applies. Well, great worry over nothing, not unsuccessful plans, crib, birth or conception of a uh, child or enterprise, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Spirit messages you have signed over them. For one, Virgo, there has been a very delayed divorce, but through many series of chain events, you're about to do it. You are going to initiate it. Okay, so for one of you guys, there was a, has been a very delayed uh, divorce. I think it's going to make you happy. Um, I heard uh, it's been very delayed for strategic reasons in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, whatever reasons that is, only you know, but I heard basically, uh, it's about to come and I heard you're going to, you're going to initiate it. So you're going to initiate the divorce. Now, whether they sign the divorce or not, I'm, and whether it's contested or not contested, I don't know, Virgo, but I heard you're going to initiate it. So I think you're going to, um, drop the papers or go to a lawyer or have them drop papers. Uh, I don't know if you're going to, you know, it's going to be contested or not contested. I don't know if there's assets there material possessions properties money what have you what have you i'm not sure only you know not anybody else but i heard you're going you're going to initiate it you are going to initiate it number 22 could be a very significant number in one's life number 22 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number number 22 uh joy An earth sign grandchild is about to make you very happy. About to about to take on a milestone. Okay, earth sign grandchild is about to make you very happy. About to take on a milestone. So this is your earth sign grandchild, um, little gazelle, little baby gazelle. Um, I heard they're about to take on some kind of milestone, whatever milestone it is. It's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo grandchild. Um, I'm feeling a younger grandchild here. Um, I heard a milestone, so I, I don't know if this is crawling, walking, um, um, talking, whatever it is. Um, maybe it's, um, a, I don't know, award, a reward, a school award. Um, maybe they win, uh, maybe they win first place in a competition. Um, but it's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo grandchild. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid with Jupiter charts, masculine, fib, grandchild. It's your little gazelle grandchild, uh, Virgo, that resonates for you. And a Virgo is about to go against an Aquarius in a huge way. A huge way. About to stand up for a family when they did not in the past. This Aquarius was way out of line, and you know this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, Virgo. I think it's going to make you happy. Um, okay, so if this resonates for you, I heard you're about to stand up for uh, a family in a huge way when an Aquarius in the past did not. Um, I think the Aquarius is probably coming off as the arrogant, boastful per person you should not cross. I heard this Aquarius did not stand up for this family in the past, but, um, but I heard you're about to. And you're about to be very successful, very successful. Okay, I heard you're about to be very successful. Yeah, um, you're about to go against an Aquarius, whoever this Aquarius is, Master Family Aquarius. But I heard an, um, 
They didn't stand up for the family. I heard they should have, but they didn't. But you're about to do it, Virgo. So I think this Aquarius is coming off as an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. But um, I heard you're going to be very successful. Now, whoever you are and how you relate to this situation, um, I feel for some you could be in professional stature situations, and maybe you're going to do it legally or professionally, or you're going to make a professional, or you're going to make an official report if you're a citizen, or or what, however you fit into the situation. But an Aquarius did not stand up for the family in the past, but you're about to do it now. However you do it, as a citizen, as in a professional seat or stature. Or what have you, what have you, okay? I think it's going to make you very happy. Butterfly. It was all about money with this Aquarius, and you know this. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard it was all about money with this Aquarius, and you know this, and it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So, they didn't stand up for this family because of money, but... You know this. You're highly intuitive and you know this. And you're about to stand up um, against this Aquarius and for this family. Um, and I heard it's it's going to go positively for you. It's going to go positively for you and this family. And uh, how that resonates with the class. Okay. Butterfly. Obviously, this Aquarius is very greedy. Obviously. The selling of a timeshare is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. And moving to your home country. Okay, the selling of a timeshare is about to become very significant in Virgo's life and moving to your home country. So wh whoever that's for, you don't live in your current home country. I'll tell you that. You live in another country. And you're about to move back to your home country. If that resonates for you, Virgo, that's for one of you guys. Uh, whatever home country that is and how that applies. But you don't currently live in your home country right now. Um, and then one of you guys, you're going to, you're either going to sell this timeshare or somebody you're connected to is going to sell this timeshare. Um, I think it's going to give you wings and financial flexibility if it's your timeshare to move back to your home country is what I feel. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. I think it's going to make you happy moving to your back to your home country. Um, I, I feel for some, it's your timeshare. Or you, um, or you own it with somebody, and um, it's you're gonna get money off of it um, to move you back to your home country. It's gonna make you happy. A Virgo is about through many series of chain of events. They're about to win a child custody battle over Earth sign child. And the information that will be revealed will put the, uh, the mother in jail. Know this. But you know she deserves to be there. Oh, my God. Whoa, Virgo. So, for one of you guys, you're about to win custody. I heard custody over our son child. Um, it is your child, biological child. It is your child, your biological child. So, it's your biological or son child. Of course, Capricorn Virgo child. Masculine. Masculine. It's a Taurus Capricorn Virgo masculine child. So um, you're either in the middle of the court child custody battle right now or you're about to be. But it's a, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo masculine child, if that resonates for you, Virgo masculine. And um, you are about to, um, you're either in the middle of a child custody battle right now or you're about to be. Um, but I heard the, the evidence and the information that's about to be revealed in the child custody battle, I heard it's going to end up putting the mother in jail, but I heard, you know, she should be there. Um, so I think, I think for some, it's gonna make you happy. Um, I don't know, if she, I, I don't know what kind of information or evidence this is, but it sounds like it's pretty substantial enough to get her put in jail. I think in this aspect, she could be the arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. I think she might, uh, she's done something terrible enough to get her put in jail. Um. 
whoever she is. She could be a earth sign or air sign, possibly a Taurus, another Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or she could be a Aries. Um, not an Aries. I'm sorry, a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. But whatever information and evidence that's about to come out in this child custody battle, I heard it's going to end up putting her in jail. I wonder if she's abused this child or abused other children. Your testimony on the stand is about to become very, very, very significant. Know this. Your testimony on the stand is about to become very, very, very significant, Virgo Masculine. So the one about to go through the child custody battle, or your testimony on the stand is about to become very, very, very significant against this. Um, I heard you're going to win custody of the masculine towards Capricorn Virgo child. And um, some... I think your testimony is going to end up landing the mother in jail or help land her in jail. Or something else helps land her in jail. But somehow something that's about to come out in this child custody battle is about to become very significant enough to land her in jail. I'll tell you that. For some, I think it's going to make you happy. Because um, there's a reason you're fighting for custody of this masculine or son child. If that resonates for you. Well, great worry over nothing. A Virgo is about to get threatened in their workplace. Oh my God, I heard a Virgo is about to get threatened in their workplace. Report it. I heard report it. A Virgo is about to get threatened in their workplace. I heard report it. So if this resonates for you, I heard one of you guys is about to get threatened in your workplace. I heard report it. So... This resonates for you. Um, you're getting threatened in your work, or you're about to get threatened in your workplace. I heard report it, so um, I think it's gonna make you worried. This threat or threats. Um, uh, obviously, this person or people that's gonna threaten you is an arrogant, boastful person. You should not cross, or they feel you should not cross them. Um, they're very much in their ego. If that resonates for them, but they're gonna have unsuccessful plans there. Um, I heard report it, so um, nobody should be threatening anybody in workplaces. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. You might need to hear that. I'm serious. So, um, it's going to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's going to backfire on them in a huge way. So, this threat or threats that person or people about to make to you in a workplace, Virgo, um, I heard um, it's going to backfire. So, it's, I think it's going to make you happy that it's going to backfire. Uh, nobody should be um, threatening anybody. Um, it should be equal opportunity in workplaces. Um, and I'm just for real. Just no discrimination zone. Regardless of age, race, sex, no sexism, no um, ageism, nothing. You shouldn't, no sexual um, harassment, none of that shit. And I'm just being for real. But I heard it will backfire on them. So, um, and I heard be smart to report it before you take the advice or leave it, okay? That's terrible. Crib, birth, or conception of a child or enterprise. A Virgo's grand, a Virgo is about to find out their grandchild is pregnant in their twenties for one, for one seventeen to eighteen. A Virgo is about to find out their grandchild is pregnant for one of you guys. They're in their twenties, and for one, they're seventeen and eighteen. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever this grandchild is, whether they're seventeen, eighteen, or in their twenties, masculine or femme, you can be masculine or femme, Virgo. But um, one of you guys. Your grandchild 17, one they're 18, and one they're in their 20s. You're about to find out they're pregnant. So actual pregnancy here, actual pregnant pregnancy energy. But it's your grandchild, you can be masculine or femme Virgo. A Virgo that has 
not in the workforce anymore. Very ill, Virgo. Not in the workforce anymore. They're about to communicate with the Taurus, masculine, in a huge way. About a Leo feminine. In a positive, non-discriminatory way this time. Okay, Virgo. So if this resonates for you, you're Virgo. You're not in the workforce anymore. It sounds like you once were, but you're not anymore. Um, so I think that's birth or a, a conception of an inter enterprise, possible enterprise or conception of an idea or something. But um, I heard you're going to communicate with the Taurus masculine. It sounds like you might used to work with this Taurus masculine, Virgo. Um, you're a Virgo masculine. You're a Virgo masculine. You're a Virgo masculine. Used to, I feel you used to work with this Taurus masculine. Because um, the workforce is significant in here. You used to be in the workforce, but now you're not. You're very, you're too ill to be in the workforce. But you're about to, uh, sounds like make a phone call or email or text or something to this Taurus masculine. Um, whether he's still in the workforce or not. And however he applies, I'm not sure. But I heard you're about to communicate with him about a Leo Fem. I heard in a positive, non-discriminatory way this time. So you made slanderous marks against remarks against her in the past. I'm presuming Virgo masculine. Or maybe you were sexist towards her, or uh, racist towards her, or um, or some or ageism or something of that nature against her in the past. If that resonates and applies, Virgo masculine. But you're too ill to be in the workforce right now, and you're about to communicate with this Taurus masculine, whoever the Taurus masculine is, and how that resonates. But I feel he might have been your boss or a coworker or someone that has to do with the workforce in some shape, form, or fashion. I think it's birth and conception of an idea, an enterprise in this aspect. Our Virgo is about to move home soon. Chicago, Illinois. And one lower Alabama. Okay, so there's two of you guys. Two of you guys are about to move home soon. I heard for one of you guys, you're about to move home to Chicago, Illinois. And one to lower Alabama. So I guess your home is in Chicago, Illinois or lower Alabama. Um, You plug it in how it resonates. And a younger Virgo feminine is pregnant. A younger Virgo Fem is pregnant. So one of you guys, a younger Virgo friend, one of you guys, your younger Virgo feminine, you're pregnant. If that resonates and applies. So congratulations, younger Virgo Fem. I feel you'd be 35, 34 below. And I heard you're pregnant. So congratulations if you want to be pregnant. Um, according to my knowledge, everybody has to keep a child these days because um, the Roe versus Wade was overturned. So to my knowledge, everybody's got to keep a child. So um, just saying, just saying. Um, I Hopefully you're happy about this. But I heard you're a younger Virgo femme and I heard you're currently pregnant. Congratulations. Baby number one, baby number three. Baby number four, baby number five, baby number six. Oh, my God. Whoa, baby number six. Holy crap, Virgo. So, okay, there's a lot of you Virgo fans pregnant. So, one of you guys you're pregnant with baby number one, baby number three, baby number four, baby number five, baby number six. All but number two. So, you plug it in. How, there's a, at least five of y'all pregnant in here. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. One of you guys pregnant with baby number one. Congratulations. One baby number three. One baby number four. One baby number five. One baby number six. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Oh, Lord. Okay. We're moving on. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. A very angry... Libra feminine is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. Very angry. You are sick and tired of her always being angry. Sick and tired. About to cut the cords with this person finally. One legally. One you're just going to block her. Oh my God. So some kind of angry fem Libra fem energy. 
Um, now, you know, I'm not talking about all the Libra fans, just whoever is angry in the universe. You know, I'm sure there's very happy Libra fans. But whoever this is that you're dealing with, if this resonates with you, um, Lib uh, not Libra, sorry, Virgo, she's a very angry Libra feminine. She could have Libra in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hammer, Jupiter charts, but she doesn't have happy, happy, joy, joy. She has angry, 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 angry. But um, whoever she is, but there's at least two of you guys. One of you guys, I heard you're, you're, both of you are about to cut the cord. So you're about to cut the cord with her. One, you're about to cut it legally. So I think you might be legally married to her or have some kind of legal connections to her and you're about to cut it. Whatever legal connections you have to her. One, you're just going to block her. So block her out of your phone. So I think she's coming up as the arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Um, cutting the cords with her. I think it's going to be unsuccessful plans for her because I think she wants to get your go, get your get you riled up, get you upset, get you angry. There's a reason she's coming across in your energetic space as angry is what I'm saying. I think it's to get at you. And for some, you're legally connected to her. So I think marriage or any other way you could be legally connected to somebody. But however that resonates, for some, it could be a contract, possibly. Um, I didn't hear that, but it might be. But however that resonates, you're about to cut the cord legally with her. However you're going to cut it legally with her. And for one, you're just going to block her out of your phone. So you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. Not unsuccessful plans. For one, it might be that, um, it might be for one of you guys, because you're a, a legally married Virgo masculine and your wife is cheating on you with Aries masculine, it might be the wife, possibly for one. Um, possibly, but I don't know. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. I think her ass is about to get caught cheating with the um, Aries masculine, I think for one. But you plug it in how it resonates. Unsuccessful plans. A very low Jaco score is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. And a Gemini masculine is about to be arrested for a child pedophile ring at the pass. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Very low Jaco very low Jaco scores are about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. So I think one of you guys works in a hospital. Jaco hospital. And I, I mean now Jaco could be long term care if they apply for the um, Jaco to come in and all that but they don't have to for long-term care but hospitals that's the governing body for hospitals is jaco so i feel for some you could work at i strongly feel you work at a hospital for some for some you could work at long-term care or skilled nursing and they have jaco come in only you know your situation story than anybody else but heard very low jaco scores are gonna become very significant for one you could be a surveyor maybe for one you work at jaco and you're a sur surveyor how that resonates and applies only you know how you plug into the low Jaco score dynamic, whether you work in a hospital, skilled nursing facility, um, or you work for Jaco, the governing body Jaco, how that resonates. But low Jaco scores are going to become very significant in one of you guys' life, how that resonates and applies, okay? Unsuccessful plans, I think, of the hospital. They wanted to make their hospital look like bomb.com and blah, 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 but they're about to get low Jaco scores or skilled nursing facility or whatever, 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 okay? Um yeah wow that sucks oh and for one of you guys i heard a gemini masculine is about to be arrested for a child pedophile ring in the past it's going to shock you so unsuccessful plans of the child pedophile ring is some kind of gemini masculine he could have gemini masculine and his sun moon rising venus or feminine heaven jupiter charts whoever this person is about to get arrested for a child pedophile ring um, and how that applies. I heard it's going to shock you. So I don't think you're going to report this person or what have you, what have you. I think somebody else is on to this person. Um, maybe, um, well, for some, you could be, I feel you could be investigator. For some, you could be the investigator, I feel. Maybe you're the investigator. And that's why, um, well, no, I heard you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. No. So whoever this is for, you're, no. I don't, maybe you covered for them in the past. I think you might have covered for them in the past. For one, you are investigating this. For when you, oh, when you are investigating this, for when you are investigating it, when you're going to be shocked. Yeah, for, so for when you're covering for him is what I'm feeling. Or you did cover for, for him. Or you helped him with the business. For one, you are investigating it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, man. We're getting juicy in here. I 
A Virgo masculine really wanted to work with the Leo feminine in the past. They were blackmailed not to come towards this person. But through many series of chain of events, they're about to do it regardless of what other people say. Oh, well, you go with your bad self, standing up for yourself in the situation, Virgo. You're a Virgo masculine. Um, no, I didn't hear what profession you are, but you are a Virgo masculine. I heard you really wanted to work with the Leo Femme in the past, but you were blackmailed not to come towards her. So it sounds like you didn't. So there were unsuccessful plans. Um, you wanted to work with, with her, but you didn't. I think an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross blackmailed you not to come towards this person, towards the Leo Femme. But I heard through many series of chain adventure about to come towards her. I think it's going to make you very happy. Um, and no, you have to be honest, but you're very highly intuitive and you know this. Okay. I heard, and no, you, ha you have to be honest, but, um, you're highly intuitive and you know it. So Virgo masculine, no, you're going to be honest with her, but you're highly intuitive. I think you already knew you had to be honest with her when you come towards her. So if that resonates and applies, it's some kind of work collaboration or, or teamwork or, Something, something of that nature, some kind of work collaboration or teamwork or skill set, putting best um, meeting of the minds or something of that nature. Some kind of work collaboration, teams, um, teamwork, duality, copacetic teamwork type situation. If that resonates and applies. But you were blackmailed in the past not to go towards her. But there's a reason somebody blackmailed you in the past not to go towards her. But I heard soon you're about to think for yourself and you're just about to do it. Regardless of what other people want you to do. Um, you know, I don't understand people on blackmailing because the thing is that never turns out well. Because people don't elevate and grow in life with blackmailing. If anybody needs to hear that. People do not grow and elevate in life with blackmailing. Karma always comes around. And it never loses an address if anybody needs to hear that. So unsuccessful plans, you wanted to work with this Leo feminine in the past. You can have Leo in any aspects or charts, uh, but you're about to come towards her soon. So you are about to take the gazelle energy with the butterfly energy, I feel, and you're about to meta, meta, metamorph, I say that five times fast, metamorph, <laughs> metamorphosis yourself. I was going to say metamorphosize, metamorphosize yourself and go speedy. Well, I don't know if you're going to go speedy, but you're going to gallop like a gazelle towards the Leo femme. Whether it's speedy or not, it metamorph metamorphosize yourself. Say that five times fast. A cancer feminine is about to fight a Virgo masculine over property soon. For one, a Pisces feminine. Oh, Lord. One of you guys, a Cancer Fem, you're okay. Both of you guys, you're Virgo masculines. For one of you guys, a Cancer Fem is about to fight you over property. For one of Pis Pisces Fem is about to fight you over property. So I'm assuming they're probably um, gonna file. Um, I'm assuming they're probably gonna go through the court of law to do this. Um, well, you're up. I'm presuming. I heard they're gonna fight you over property or properties soon. Virgo masculine. It's a, a Cancer feminine or a Pisces Fem. They could have Cancer. Or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamid, or Jupiter charts, if that resonates and applies for you. Um, but we have unsuccessful plans here, so um, let me see if I hear anything else. Hold on to documentation. True documentation. Hold on to true documentation is what I heard. Hold on to true documentation. So if that resonates and applies for you, I heard a hold on to true documentation. So one of you guys, I think, has the real documentation or you, or you should have the property or properties or asset or assets or what have you, what have you. Um, I heard hold on to it. Hold on to it. So hold on to whatever you have. Um, it doesn't sound like they're going to be able to take it unless, obviously, you don't pay your bill or bills or taxes or taxes on it. But, um, but if you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing in the keeping up, keeping the mortgage or mortgages, or payment or payments or tax or taxes on it, I'm presuming you should be okay. I heard, hold on, um, true documentation. Hold on to your true documentation. So whatever that is and how that applies for you, okay? I think they're going to be unsuccessful in some of these situations. For some, it really all depends on whether, I'm assuming whether you're paying your taxes on your property or properties, your mortgage on your property or properties, or what have you, what have you, or however they are connected to this, okay? Um, it's a Cancer Feminine and a Pisces Fem. They could have Cancer or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, and Jupiter charts. 
if that resonates, that applies for you, Virgo, okay? The Rise of the Phoenix Soon. Ooh, I like it. I might title it that. I heard the rise of the phoenix soon is what I heard. The rise of the phoenix soon. So the rise of the phoenix soon. So that could be you rising like a phoenix or somebody else rising like a phoenix. Somebody's rising like a phoenix soon. So it hasn't happened yet. If that resonates and applies for you, Virgo. A significant drug bust in your city soon. You're going to help with the drug bust. It is about to land you high honor. You're about to help with this in a huge way. It's going to be a huge drug bust for your city. Mid-United States. Okay. So for I, one, you might be on the SWAT team, possibly. Um, I don't know. You tell me. Um, uh, maybe you're. Uh, maybe you work on the police precinct in. Uh, I heard mid United States. So whoever you are, I think you live in the mid United States. Um, and I think you're on the police force or police precinct, or you're a private eye, or maybe you're feds or SWAT team or something. But I heard you're about to. Um, I heard your city. So. I don't know if you're, I don't think you're feds. I don't think you're feds. I don't even think you're private eye. I think you might work on a SWAT team or a police force or something, but however that resonates, you live in mid-America, I'll tell you that. And um, you're about to assist in a huge drug bust in your city. I heard it's going to give you huge high honor and recognition and reward, basically. Um, you're going to pay it forward to someone in a huge way when this occurs. Okay, I heard you're going to pay it forward to someone huge when this occurs. So after you get, I think, publicly honored and recognized for this huge drug bust you're about to assist with, I heard you're about to be very integral in the drug bust in your city, in mid-America somewhere, Virgo. Um, I heard you're going to pay it forward to somebody um, after you get publicly honored and recognized. I think it's going to make you very happy that you're going to be publicly honored and recognized. I heard it's going to be a huge drug bust. It, it's in your city, and you live in mid-America in some shape, form, or fashion, okay? All right, I love you. I hope this helped, and namaste.